Hey guys, it's Lee. I look like a hot mess, but um, I just wanted to do a real quick update because um, I had some really um, interesting developments. So I said that I would either be doing my first IUI vlog or my first pregnancy vlog. And I was expecting to have that information by Friday. But um, guess who showed up early today? Aunt Flo. So it is cycle day one, cycle day one for me. It happened two days early. I was really kind of shocked um, that it happened so fast. But yeah, so it's cycle day one and I am getting ready to take, hang on, I'll grab them for you. <laughs> these, let's see. These little beauties. It's Letrozole or Femara is the formal name for it. I'm going to pop those. I'll be doing that cycle days one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm starting my injections on, excuse me, on um, cycle day six. So that'll put me, uh, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then my first injection will be Monday. I'll also have an appointment Monday after school. Um, and I think, guess they do like a baseline ultrasound and blood work before I start the injections. And I guess maybe to see what the femur did by itself. Although it's really early, so I don't know how that works. I've never done a hybrid cycle. And that's what that's called when you do a pill form and an injection. And I've always been curious. Um, I will tell you my history with femur. I need to go back and do my IUI. Um, my account of all my IEIs. I've had six, so this will be my seventh one. I'm hoping this will be, you know, seven is God's number, so I'm hoping number seven will be my blessed cycle. I'm not going to say lucky, I'm going to say blessed. Um, I need to go and do a video of that, so maybe I can do that this weekend, but um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have had one Femara cycle alone, um, and it was a real, it was with my doctor I, I just left. Um, and I can't remember exactly what happened, but I think it was on a weekend when they did my ultrasound and the doctor did it. And I had that happen, happen several times at that practice. Um, and unfortunately he sucks at, um, pardon my language, but he is no good at ultrasounds and he never could find my ovaries and, or he could only get one of them, and they could not tell. They, I know I had a, a 15 on my right, and they said there wasn't anything on my left, but then my E2 number was like 300, almost 300, which indicated that I had two mature follicles. But he even brought me in his office that day and said, I really don't think you have anything that's worth, you know, um, ovulating and all that. So, um, But I remember vividly from that cycle that night having – the most tremendous ovulation pain. So, um, who knows how I'm actually going to respond to it. I'm taking two pills, and each pill is 2.5 milligrams, so it's 5 milligrams a night. You can go up further in dosage, so I don't know if that'll be something he'll adjust next month. But, um, anyway, that's kind of my history with Fumar. I've only had it once. All my other cycles have always been Clomid or just injectables. So, this will be a mix. I'll do the med the pill and then the injectables. So um, the other thing I want to tell you was um, how excited I am. I got um, some med medicines at a very, very good price and I'm very, very grateful to a girl who I found through um, a website and if you want that information you can private message me and I'll give it to you. Um, but it was a, a website online that um, for people who have finished IVF and things like that and have their meds and they want to help someone else use them. So I got those meds and um, it was an extremely, extremely generous deal. And that's pretty much all I can say about it. But I'm so excited to say that um, I have three 900 IU gonal F pins coming and they'll be here by noon tomorrow. So I'm sorry. I don't like the way this camera's looking. I look cross-eyed because I'm looking this way. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm very excited that um, my cycle is not going to cost me nearly as much as I was estimating. Um, you know, a, a, a 900 IU pin can run you a lot of money. I think a minimum would be like $550 for one, I think. 
and that's with certain discounts, so it can go up more than that. I had no idea what the pharmacy was going to call and ask me for today. And it was funny because I got all this worked out early this morning, and then the pharmacy called me later tonight and left a message. I didn't even call them back. So um, I have a trigger shot, and hang on, I think it's right here. Do, do, do. You see my medicine cabinet? Look, it's all oils now and some other stuff, but and there's my old shot bins. I guess I'll be getting those back out. Um, but I do have this, that's the HCG shot. And, um, the thing about these meds is the meds I got from this, this friend, this girl, um, they expire at the end of this month. Um, and the nurse said, and this also expired not long ago. Yeah, it expired in, in um, January. The nurse said that there's absolutely no reason why you can't use expired meds. Um, that that's just a precautionary thing that they use them a lot of times when people donate them for IVF cycles and such. So, um, yeah, I'm mean, really excited. I hope I won't have to use more than one of those pens this cycle. He's going to put me on 150 IUs per day. And I'm estimating about six days, which is a 900 IU pen. So I'm hoping maybe this, what I purchased, I mean, what I got from this friend will, um, have it be enough for the two IU as my insurance is covering. So basically my only cost is going to be the letrozole, the femora. Now, I don't know how much that costs yet. Okay. I told you in my last video that my fertility med coverage is gone. So I pay completely out of pocket for whatever I get at the pharmacy now. Um, when I went to take this prescription tonight to Rite Aid, they only had two pills of the 10 that I needed. So they gave me the two and the rest will be ready for me tomorrow. And they, they said they'll pay, that I'll pay tomorrow. So I didn't get the price. I was really kind of interested to see. But quite honestly, if all I have to pay for is letrozole, then, um, that's pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm really ex excited about this and just going to take these pills and we're going to get this thing started and we'll just see how it goes. But I did want to update you and, um, I want to thank Lisa, the girl that, um, was so generous with the medications. If she's out there watching, thank you, Lisa. Um, she was flying out at noon today and she, I contacted her this morning and she didn't know me from Adam hardly. And, um, she was super nice about it and she got it all taken care of before she flew out for vacation, which would, you know, if she would have been, if that would have been me, I'm always like in a time crunch when I leave to go on a trip. So it was awful nice of her to get all that done. Um, and I'm super appreciative. So anyway, here we go. I guess my next update will probably be after my appointment on Monday. Um, so we'll see how that goes, and I'll give you an update then. Then I can't talk. Um, anyway, I just want to say also um, that there's a lot of sadness right now in the TTC community and a lot of negative stuff that's happened over the last few weeks. And um, a few girls with failed IVFs and some that are um, looking at maybe having a loss from IVF and things like that and it just breaks my heart and I just want y'all to know that I love you guys and I'm praying for every one of you and I hope that um you can just you know um keep going and keep pushing and keep trying don't give up on your dream and just know that this is just a roadblock and we're all going to get that take home baby soon so um I'm not giving up and I don't want you guys to either we love you I love you and uh, we pray for y'all, and so I just, I just know that this is all going to work out for all of us. And so y'all, just hang in there, okay? Love everybody, and we'll talk to y'all later. Have a great rest of the week and weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye.